Hey guys, so we are 16 days out of the first competition for the season in the USA. So six days, six? Six days until we leave uh, for the USA next week. So today I'm going to take you through a little glute and shoulder workout. So we're just doing like a little um, pump sessions at this stage just to get the heart rate up, not really focusing on strength at the moment. So keeping all the information down as much as possible. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so just did a little bit of dynamic warm up. Usually I do a lot of foam rolling as well, but I can't find the foam roller. So usually I just do my back, a little bit of quads and just some calves, just my tight spots uh, before we train lower body especially. So starting with glutes, we'll do like two or three exercises and then we'll move on to some shoulders, finishing off with some abs. We're going to do one more glute exercise just to fatigue the muscle a little bit more. I'm feeling pretty good, so got a little bit of energy to burn today. So one more glute exercise and then we'll move on to some shoulders.
Right, so we've done seated abduct abduction machine, kickbacks. So getting more behind the glute kind of lateral aspect and then kickbacks as well. And then some cosmic tension hip thrust. So we're going to do some shoulders. We're going to do mostly lateral raises, a bit of shoulder press, um, and a little bit of ridge out. So we'll see what's free. Hopefully we can grab a cable for the first exercise just to kind of get a good pump going on. And then we'll move on to some heavier sets. So we're just focusing on going nice and uh, light with the lateral raises, just trying to make sure I really don't engage in any trap. So also leaning, doing them on a leaning, just to take out any trap element as well. So keeping the crib brain. <laughs> High reps, keeping the weight low, focusing on constant tension in the, in the delts the whole entire time. So I'm not coming too late either. Weight's done, shoulder's done, time to put some abs and then some step up, finish. 
So one question I get a lot is like if bikini girls should train abs or not. Um, so personally, I like to train abs, but body weight only. So in off season, I don't really tend to train them just because I don't want to really focus on tidying up. But at the end of prep, I definitely do. So I'll do about three, four sets of um, abs per week. Just things like crunches, sit-ups, leg raises. So I just pretty much alternate between three of those, whatever's comfortable, and making sure nothing um, puts too much pressure or inflammation on my back. So just a little bit, just tighten up, tighten up the waist. Chucking in some vacuums every now and then as well. Um, I haven't done vacuums this prep, but do definitely recommend it. Definitely not arching your lower back, keeping your hips nice and neutral, sucking in belly button, and then pulling off your abs. I can't remember if I said three or four sets or three or four exercises of abs a week, but regardless, I mean three or four exercises per week. So finishing at the very end, about four, three or four days, just like a few, a few sets of abs. So we're done for weights, abs, cardio time. All right, so started my day with cardio this morning on the treadmill at home. So we did 50 minutes on the treadmill, just on the incline, and then a little bit of work, posing clients, and then I come straight here for training. Then I do about 50 minutes of step up post workout. So a lot of cardio, but we've been really pushing it in the last few weeks just to make sure I'm ready on time. Um, like I mentioned, I took over my prep about 10 weeks ago, around the 12-week mark. So we've dropped so much weight since then. It's like, I can't even tell you how much <laughs> it's, it's come in. So really, really happy with how it's going. We've got two more weeks, less than one more week here until we're in the USA. So we're going to have one more week of really, a really final push while I'm here in Dubai. And then we'll be over in Las Vegas in Dragon's Lair with the other pros. So, yeah, so final push, doing about an hour and 50 minutes, no, now 40 minutes of cardio at the moment. And then I'll be heading home. I've got my BCAAs from my sponsor's cycle, and then post workout meal, feet up, post practice, ready to go again for tomorrow.